I got an update for you guys. This is a network update from T-Mobile. They just released a press release. Voice over NR is officially active commercially on the network in two markets. Those two markets, Portland, Oregon, Salt Lake City. I told you guys in a recent video, if you stay tuned to it, to the entire video, 15% of voice traffic is already going over voice over NR. So I'm being told from the engineers. So that means they're, they're testing it. And now that it's officially commercially launched, it's, it's the right thing to do. So you want to test in the lab. And of course, they've tested it in the lab. But you want to at some point test it commercially too. Even if it's in beta, you want to test it commercially because oftentimes you can't replicate the same type of scenarios in a lab because those are perfect conditions as you as some people create in in a real world scenario commercially cell edge um indoors second level whatever whatever the case may be it needs to be tested commercially before you really 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 push it out at scale so the two markets that are that they're now testing it in officially salt lake city portland oregon and even those markets it seems to be limited so before i close out this video i just want to talk about uh briefly about voice and it's not t-mobile strong suit let's be honest here we have to be honest call it what it is when they launched voice over lte they had plenty of issues they got those corrected but they never got it a hundred percent to the level of where at&t and verizon are today They just never did. They never got it fully right. There's still markets that root metrics tests where calling is still far below Verizon and AT&T. People are still messaging me, telling me they're dropping calls. Their voice quality is choppy. So those are still issues that T-Mobile has been dealing with under voice over LTE. Now they're moving to a newer voice over NR technology. I don't think much changes. I still think they use the same codec, so there's there's not much changing. T-Mobile just needs to improve this across the board. Some markets, they're scoring 86, 90, 91 on, on, the, voice, on the voice scores on root metrics, and that's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. Verizon and AT&T are much better at voice. It's, it's, it's proven. It's a fact. The testing backs that up. And it's been like that for a while. Like I said, early on, when they were the first to really scale voice over LTE, they, they really had issues. And they got them corrected. They got some, uh, they got analytics uh, software tools going with Ericsson. Same with Nokia. They were able to pinpoint better where the areas were that they needed improvements. And they still never to this day, got it 100% corrected. So we'll see how it goes with voiceover uh, NR. I am seeing some markets, including my market, where T-Mobile now has far better voice. In fact, it's in line with the competition. But there are more other markets where it's still, where they still lack behind on voice quality. So let me know what you think about this uh, before I get into this meeting with Neville and, and, and see what he's going to update us on. I'm sure this will be brought up now since it's a live article. So let me know what you think about this. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See you in the next one. Peace.